Today we are getting off the Disney Fantasy cruise ship in Tortula, one of the British Virgin Islands. And we're doing a, a very exclusive excursion, the Virgin Gorda Bat. It is really, really unique. But there's a reason I do not recommend this tour. Stay tuned to see why we do not recommend this tour. And you might want to stick around where we talk about why or how I would recommend this excursion. We are just getting off, setting foot on the pier in Tortula, and we are on our way to our excursion. So when you do these excursions, they give you a sticker. Well, you, she used to have a sticker. I used to have a sticker. sticker. The sticker looks look. like that. Sticker, and that's just the group. Group number one. Alright guys, so we are just arriving in Virgin Gorda. This is the third largest island in the British Virgin Islands. So we're pulling up in Spanish Town now. And we are now gonna get on our next means of transportation. Open air bus. Open air bus. So it's exactly a 10 minute ride on the bus and then you end up here at the Bats. So this is the Bats National Park. So when you're walking, please try not to drag your feet. You may stump on a, a stone and it's gonna hurt. All right? This trail is full of cactus. So if you slip, try not to hold on to something. It just might be a cacti. All right? There's two pieces that we're gonna be stopping at. One is called Devil's Bay, and the other one is called the Bats. I'm gonna give you guys at least 45 to 50 minutes on each side. I'm gonna give you guys at least 45 to 50 minutes on each side. 45 to 50 minutes on each side. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. It's gonna take approximately seven minutes to get down and about nine minutes to get up, nine to 10 minutes to get back. Why, Why you always lying? All right? I normally play a game named Marco Polo so I can find you guys wherever you are, okay? When I say Marco, you say Polo. Marco! Polo! All right, I repeat, we gotta be back up here at least by 11.45. So Wow, we made it guys. All right guys, so we have made it to Devil's Bay. Look at how beautiful. Oh man, that's nice. This is really nice, wow. A few moments later. All right, and apparently we have to leave. We were originally told by the tour guide that we'd be here for 45 minutes. We were here not even five minutes and he's like, oh. Walk over to the other side of the beach. Right, I mean, he also said we would be down here in seven minutes and it took about 20. Yeah, it definitely took 20 minutes to walk down here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have mobility issues, you've broken an ankle, a leg, a hip, or anything, I would not recommend this tour. It's a lot to get down here. Yeah. 
it's a lot. The kids are doing pretty well, young kids. There's yeah. kids like two years old and they're still doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. So that's good to know for the parents, but. Right, but if you I'm still not sure. Tour, it's not for you. Right. Because it is not smooth sailing to get down here. It is yes, a sir. true adventure. It's a good little hike. And you need like some terrain, water, shoes. Right. Or you, you have to have straight up sneakers. Right. Some sandals with a back on it. Right. Something. Hiking sandals. Right, exactly. To get you down here. Right. And uh, yeah, so our 45 minutes is over in five, I guess. <laughs> Five seconds. No. People were literally still taking their stuff off yes. and getting ready to get in the water. And he's like, okay, guys, it's time to go to the next spot. We're like, what? We're going through the caves now, ladies and gentlemen. The bats. The bats. The bats. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> There's le legit ladders in the rocks. <laughs> All right. This is really pretty. I will. I will. Yeah. He's definitely not a tour of this man. Are you in No. Oh, 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 oh. Ready? <laughs> new year, new me. Right? I already done my way. No. Ooh, baby. Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, my God. You want to talk to me? Yeah, hold on to the rope. Good. Oh, please tell me that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes! That was the greatest part of the entire time I was like, oh. Well. Well is right. Let's just say the descriptions from tour guide. They make it seem so simple. He like, yeah, the second tra uh, track was going to be nine minutes. It was a good 25 minutes. It took us forever. It was a lot of climbing. Have you down, seen in the video? Going through the water. Climbing and scaling and bending your head and scraping your neck. Y'all in your bed right now watching this. Or sitting on your couch. No, but the bad part is, no, it looks nice on video. <laughs> but if you were here doing it, it's, not, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. So kind and of. God bless the ones that got small, small kids, but even smaller yeah. than us that trek through this. Yes. Because it was a lot. One of the guys with us, Nephi, he is he is the real MVP. Yes. He did the whole thing with a baby in, in his, his arms. Uh, 14 month old. He is the real MVP. dad of the year. The year. Okay. Crown that man. Because <laughs> he held it down. It was it was a lot. It was adventurous, kinda cool, kinda not. It depends on what you're into. Right. We are typically sites, not right. that tight. But I can say we did it. The sights is very pretty. Yeah. I, I am happy in the end that we did it because right. we got to see all that. We could say we've been. It's yeah. very cool. It's extremely different from the rest of the Caribbean. I've right. never seen. I am from the Caribbean, and we've traveled to a, almost every I island feel like in the we're Caribbean. In Europe right now. Yeah, and this is now nah, this is giving me off the coast of Africa vibes. Right. And okay. this is extremely that. different. I was gonna say somewhere in Greece, like from what I watched on TV. Like I can see that they have those mountain thing. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I can see that too, but it's extremely different from the Caribbean. It is a really unique um, area for with the rock formations all over. The rocks are even on the hills. Mm -hmm. The hills are full of these huge rocks. It's it's different. Okay. The whole scenery, the landscaping is very different. Okay. Going through those rocks is a different experience. 
And that's all I can say about that, guys. We are going to chill here. We're going to see if we can get... It looks like there's a bar there, so we're going to see if we can get a little drink. A cocktail or two. Or ten. And I don't and know if I should even drink a cocktail. because what if, I think I need to be sober. Sober going back. So they got some souvenirs out here. And it looks like a bar. Let's see what they got to drink. Alright, so it's a wrap. We were here for 20 minutes. It's time to go. So now we got to see. Hopefully the trek back is not as extreme <laughs> as the way to get here. Thoughts and prayers, guys. Please send them our way. We'll need them. Alright, guys. So the commute time was accurate coming up. It was about seven minutes. minutes. Ten. Ten. She timed it because she's not playing no games no more. So it took ten minutes. It was easy. It was just walking up some steps. A lot of steps. Not bad. The other times were not so on point, but that one it was. So now we do it now backwards. We take it back. Marco! So we'll see you there in Tortula. So we've talked about a couple of the positives, which like we said, it's absolutely beautiful and all that, but we gotta get into the main negatives. And the first one is the one that we mentioned, which is the time frames. Like we went down to the first beach and in five minutes we had to leave. Now that's one thing we discussed on the video already. We showed you, right? <laughs> but what we didn't discuss is the fact that once that happened, we were a little bit verbal, especially even rain actually was pretty loud. Like, what happened? It's only been five minutes. You lied. And I think <laughs> the guy heard her. And long story short, he had a little bit of an attitude yeah. towards us for the rest of like the rest of the, the rest of the excursion. Yeah, when we went over to the second beach, I said to Richard, I said, watch when we get over here. He's going to tell us. I said, don't get too comfortable. I said, I guarantee 20 minutes. Exact. It was exactly 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. He said, Marco. And everybody was like, follow. I was like, I told you. And then he looked over at me and said, it sucks, right? I was like, yes, it right, does what suck. What kind of excursion is this? Like, yes, <laughs> it does suck. Like, my kids want to, I didn't even get to, I didn't even go in the water at all. Not yeah. even once. You know, by the time I went and got us, um, we were hot, so I got us some drinks. I got the girls some from Fruit Punch, mm -hmm. came back. I was like, watch him say Marco Polo. And he said Marco. It was over. And it was over. I don't think that this, I think that if you were to do this excursion, um, you would need to do the full day. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't understand why they even have it offered as a half a day. Um, I don't so that's what we wanted to definitely let you guys know that it is a dope excursion. It is yeah, really beautiful. beautiful. Gorgeous. The British Virgin Islands are absolutely beautiful, especially when you get to Virgin Gorda. Mm -hmm. But it's something you need to experience as a whole day. Yeah. So the way this so excursion was rushed. set up, it was like four hours. If you look at the portion where I looked at my watch, it was already 10 o'clock. It was 9.50. And the guy said in the video, we need to be back up here at 11.45. So how were we going to spend 50 minutes in each beach? We were not gonna make that happen and we were not gonna make that time frame anyway yeah no way so the other thing is when we got back to the cruise port we noticed they were loading up another batch of people for another four-hour excursion so what we really believe is the cruise the cruise line is partnering with this company but that company is being a little bit greedy yeah and they're doing two excursions a day instead of doing one, one excursion. excursion a day and I don't think that they I don't think that Disney truly knows that this company is really being really greedy so if Disney <laughs> I, I think that Disney needs to cut the half day and just make it one full day because it is too rushed and I also don't recommend this. Even though our small kids went, I don't recommend it for small kids. If your kids are pretty active, I still would if say If your kids yes. are active, if your kids are very active, but there were a lot of smaller kids and parents had to carry their kids and you're climbing on the rocks, you're climbing down ladders. If you have any mobility issues, if you're I do pregnant, think, though, I don't recommend that. I think if it was a full day, you could take your time and do it and we could, uh, we could have enjoyed it a little bit more. Yeah. We didn't really enjoy it because it was like, 
We just sat down. Okay, rush. Right. We just sat down. Okay, rush. Yeah, you could take your Come time on, and man. go through so the So there's rocks. nothing he relaxing. Felt rush to go over. He's like, are you guys like when we when we were walking? And he kept saying, we're, we're like, running late. We're yeah, running yeah. late. He was like, are you the last group? I was like, no. There's more people behind us still coming down the ladder. And he's like, oh gosh. I'm like, yeah. we're not. Everybody here is not. We don't do this every day like you. So we are not used to climbing down all these stairs like this. There is a different way for you to go down the beach. You didn't have to go the way that we showed you guys when we got at the top we realized oh all we had to do was walk down all these steps and we could have been on the second beach and you don't have to do it guided <laughs> you can actually if you can arrange your transportation over there you can do that yeah. whole excursion on your own you don't yeah. have to do it with a tour company yeah i recommend a tour company because they know what to do but i don't recommend that tour company yeah so i just you know with the disney brand i feel like disney out of all the cruise lines they have the most exceptional customer service mm -hmm. and i don't think that this particular uh, excursion tour company is a good representation of the Disney brand and if True. I was Disney I would sec I would go with a different company because it was just everybody's all happy and in a good mood and mm -hmm. then I don't know if it was just maybe that guy was just having a bad day everybody has a bad day but that particular um, excursion it just I, I just don't feel like it's fit you know, for Disney another negative is when you do a tour when we got onto the open air buses we were driving around, we were driving to the right, bath, right? Yeah. There was never a, hey, welcome to Virgin Gorda. This the is population is so and so. This is the third largest island in the British Virgin. Nothing. Nothing. It was just sit down and enjoy the ride <laughs> sit and look down around. And, right. And we had no clue where they were taking us. Like, we, I would like to a guided tour and tell us what we're looking at. We've never mm -hmm. been here before. And so, and I'm sure many people who have you know, going on excursion, probably never been there before as well. So I think they could do better with that as well. Yeah, so there's a few, it's, it's just, a, it's a lot of improvement. Lots of room for improvement yeah. with that company. Now we did take a cab when we got back to Tortula. We wanted to enjoy a beach day. Those, that yeah. video is coming up right after we finished speaking. And um, <laughs> so we ended up taking a cab and the cab driver went through explaining, hey, Tortula, this is so-and-so. The population yeah. is this. This building was burnt down and it's just being rebuilt. He was giving a tour. He's a cab driver. That's what it's supposed to be. And we were able to, we actually did not record a lot, but we spent hours, hours at, at the, the beach. beach. Having a good time eating, um, enjoying the water. We had a really fun time. Overall, I think the day, I mean, it was an excursion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they took us on an adventure. Definitely something just, different for a rich and jazzy life. Just smushed in. I, yeah, it was just it rushed. Wasn't, yeah, it was just rushed, and I, I don't recommend a four hour. So if you're watching this and you're considering, go for an eight hour. Don't do the four hour. Cruise ship is straight ahead. You walk all the way down past. There's a whole bunch of restaurants, bars, like mini restaurants, mini huts, and bars. You walk all the way. It's a good smell of food. I'll tell you that. And a couple of bars. You walk straight down. And then you'll see the signs, it'll take you down to the taxi stand where you can catch a taxi to the nearest beach or you can stay here, get something to eat here if that's what you want to do. All right, so that's a wrap for Tortula. You had a good time? I enjoyed the beach. It was a very nice beach. I love that there's many food options. Uh, Even the port had a lot of food options. Yeah. But there's no beach there, you know, so this is thanks, sir. You know, when I do see, when I go on other cruises, and I see Tortola now, I'm not going to feel like, oh, Tortola. Right. I I'm probably would like, come right oh, to the Tortola. beach. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. not bad. Not bad at all. True. It's been a long time since we've been here, so I didn't remember. Right. It's a great, great beach day, in my opinion. All right, guys, and we are back at the cruise port. We made it back. A word of advice: I would be very uh, mindful checking your prices of the cab. Some prices are way more high than others, so uh, be mindful of that. This is a nice cruise port. We had a good day, we were at the beach here with the royal family. So it was a good day, good day.